I'm gonna start making a surrealistic collage and I found one image that can work as my background and I found a couple other pages that have uh, some objects that I want to cut out and glue into this environment to make a surrealistic scene. So the first thing I'd like to do is trim this kind of raggedy edge. And I'm gonna glue it down onto a bigger piece of paper that gives it kind of a frame. So flip it over. I'll just use my glue stick. Dot in each corner. X in the middle. And smooth down. Okay. Now, I... I'm really kind of enjoying the thought of having these cats somehow live in this Antarctic environment. I'm not sure where this is. Um, so I'm gonna cut out a cat and I want you to observe how I'm cutting and think if you think I am cutting as well as I could or if there's anything that I could be doing differently. There's a cat. And now I also would like this frog. I'm gonna cut this frog out in a different way. Okay, so I have a frog and I have a cat. Um, which one's working better in this environment as feeling like even though they're both really strange, one of them belongs and is placed well in this environment and which one kind of looks out of place? Yeah, so the difference between the frog and the cat, I still have all of this previous background around the cat. So if I go back in and do the same cutting technique and cut out that previous background, the cat's going to work a lot better. So something that you can also keep in mind when you are gluing is where you place the objects. So placing the cat right here on the rock would look different than placing it up here on the edge or even cutting off the legs and gluing it like that would make it look like it's coming up from behind the rocks. So you can play around with edges of objects um, and, and just edges of the paper to make some really kind of fuzzy, <laughs> funny and clever juxtapositions of your objects. Um, so if you have objects that are cut out that you want to glue down, just using the glue stick to carefully place them. I don't re recommend gluing them until you absolutely know for sure where you want them to go. Uh, if you cut out some objects and you have not glued them yet and it's time to clean up, you can make a little uh, pocket folder out of a piece of paper, staple it together to keep your cut pictures inside. So there you go. If you'd like to experiment with making a surrealistic collage, you know how to get started.